back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Violet here, and today I'm gonna be reacting to a Pablo Vitar video. He just came out with it, and a few people have said I should react to it. It's called, sorry if I say this wrong, Indestructivel. Indestructivel. I don't know, I was trying to say it with an accent, but it's probably not coming out that way, but I'm guessing it means obviously indestructible. Let me get into it and see how I feel about it and all that, all that jazz. Pablo Vitar. Index indestructible <laughs> in three, two, one. Let's get the show on the road. No, it's like black and white. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, 73. Oh, I can't read this. Okay, since I can't understand this, I'm gonna type it in in Google Translate just to like get a better idea of what's going on. Okay, so it says 73% of LGBTQ youth in Brazil are victims of bullying and violence in schools. 73%. That's crazy. That's such a messed up thing. To, like, it's so disgusting and messed up. Like, who sticks someone's head in a toilet? I always see that in movies and like shows sometimes. I'm just gonna like, are people that messed up that they actually stick someone's head in the toilet? Really though? No eyelashes. I've never seen Pablo without, without eyelashes on, so it's kind of different. Oh, his mother seeing him is like, huh? So good. That's such a hard because I'm just thinking of how I was in high school and how like in high school, I mean, some people are for sure of who they are. But the pressure of already kind of like trying to figure out yourself and everything, and then you have this, it's kind of like, that's hard because me in high school, I can say I didn't have anything going on, like, and I still had issues, like, I still had problems. So imagine having that too, like, on top of everything else and bullying on top of you already trying to accept yourself, and oh my goodness. That notes. He like Pablo Vitar is amazing at hitting good notes. did that because if there's anyone to make that video on that song it is him I feel like Pablo Vital is like the best person to deliver that message because he can actually relate and like I said before I think it's really messed up that you already have like you're already in your teens you already have identity issues already without even having any of that and then you add that on and bully it on it's just kind of like it's a whole different ball game and why do you want to add to someone's pain like that like who sticks someone's head in the toilet who spits on people that's disgusting and if the thing that gets me is kind of like 
let's say you didn't agree with most lifestyle, right? You don't agree, but it's not affecting you in any way. Like their lifestyle literally in any way is not affecting you. Why do you have to go after someone, make their situation when they're already struggling with themselves and trying to figure out everything and gain confidence in themselves? Why well, do you add on to that and then bully them, spit in their face, do all these things? I think this is a good message to put out there because anyone that is going through that, they can all relate to it and they, they know they're not alone. Like a really big thing that actually helps is know that you're not alone. So I'm happy that Pablo Vitar put that out and let people know. The video, that's a really hard video to watch, especially when they're punching him in his face and he's running away crying to his mom. That's tough. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people see themselves in that um, kid. And to anyone out there going through that, you know you're not alone. There's people that have gone through that too. And it gets better. You always come out on the other side and keep fighting the good fight. I want to look up the lyrics to the song because I have no idea. I know it was really touching, like the video and even the tone of Pablo Vitar's voice and everything. It got the message across without even having me knowing what he's saying, like with the language barriers. But I still want to know what he's saying. So I'm just going to look up the lyrics in English. Index indestructible <laughs> means indestructible. Okay, so this is what it said. This is what Pablo Vitar was saying. I know that everything will be okay and my tears will dry. I know that everything will be okay and these wounds will heal. That's very true. What prevents me smile is everything that I ever lost. I close my eyes and ask to when I open them, the pain isn't there, but it's not so easy, but I'll learn at the end. My hands come together to take off my chest. That's bad. And I'm going to say, I know that everything will be okay and my tears will dry. I know that everything will be okay and these wounds will heal. I know that everything will be okay, everything will be okay. If I get pain, I give you back love. If I get pain, I give you back love. And how much more pain I get, the more I perceive that I'm indestructible. Truer words have not been spoken. I love everything that, mu that music video, the song stood for. I love who the message came from. And I love the video. The video is really hard to watch and it's really, it's really powerful, but it drives home the message. Like you don't always have to get the pretty picture; you have to get the realistic picture, and that's a, that is very realistic, and that's a lot of people's reality. So we can't turn a blind eye to it. With this platform, I think it was important that he put out that kind of message, and it's a really good message to put out. I look forward to more of Pablo Vitar's work. Thank you for watching this video. That was my reaction to Pablo Vitar and Destructivelle. Let me just butcher the name one more time. <laughs> if you have any more things for me to react to, put it down in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more videos coming your way. I'll see you back here next time. And oh, shout out to Igor Domingos. She messaged me on Instagram and she also commented below one of my YouTube videos telling me to react to this video. Thank you. I think she was like the very first person that told me to react to it too. So shout out to Igor Domingos and thanks for viewing. Thanks for watching. What's up girl? What's up? What's up? <laughs> and I'll see you guys here next time. Bye.